Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to create a custom variable in email template. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to use iteration operation in email template, especially in Jinja to template engine, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under this playlist, you can see Odoo development and here different types of playlist available with different topics with real test cases. And if you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow that repository. And we have also different social media pages. Make sure to subscribe those pages to get the latest notification. And if you want to support this channel using many ways like buy me coffee, PayPal or using this join button. So let's back to our main topic like how you can create a custom variable in Jinja to template, especially in email template. All right. So for that, you already know we created a new module which is wb email template under the data you can see we created this email template right now let's say there is a one more scenario we have to try to create one variable and we have to access throughout this email body right so for that like that is also possible but here i will try to add uh, interesting things so first i will try to add one method in the student profile and it will return something and it will store into the variable in here all right so how we can do that so for that you can see this student profile right and here i will try to add one more method which is def get custom values by email template like this return let's say self dot student edge all right now i will try to copy this one and i will try to create here a new variable so for that we have to use percentage sign after that we have to use the set right and here we have to use one variable name student age equal to and here i'm trying to directly access the object without any pre or post any symbols all right and then after i will try to call this method like this that's it and we don't need to close anything because this is only a one line of code and i'm trying to add here and i will try to add one more thing is if condition if student underscore edge so in bold I will try to print student underscore edge else I will use like this in a bold age is not available for this student all right and simple we have to close this line and if now i will try to let's say upgrade the module And I will try to go to in settings in templates and here in the student profile you can see here I will try to preview 
you can see not provided I will change another record set still it's not provided Sitaraman still it's not provided Jethalal it's not provided again not provided so let's double check let me check in the ramu profile all right so there is no any burn date is available in the front end side at the moment so let me quickly update here also let me check here the variable name b dev Let me refresh the page. You can see budget is not available, right? And here it says not provided. So let me add here January and I will try to print here the Ramu Chacha, right? so only ramu and now you can see here you are zero years nine months 23 days one hour 38 minutes 38 seconds old all right so like this way you can directly set the variable using like this way you can also call any custom or the predefined methods right here so directly you can access you directly you can access any methods using object dot the method name all right so like this way you can create your own custom variable in jinja2 template in case you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session